Hi, my name is Jack Walsh, just a regular citizen, but uh, been interested with this project for quite a while. I thought I brought extra copies, but I only have one, so I'm going to give it to you. You can look at it. So Thank you. And then, you know, this ties in with Main Street. Um, as you drive main, down Main Street right now and you get to the corner on the left, you'll see a tub wheel. How many people here even know what a tub wheel is? Okay, and how it ties into Derby's history. Well, let me let me backtrack a little bit to because I'm gonna have to tell a couple of different stories for this project. The first one <clears throat> that I think is listed on the agenda is the cobblestones. Cobblestone is probably an incorrect term because you think of cobblestones as pavers and streets, and these cobblestones did pave Caroline Street but they were actually Belgian blocks that came from ships from the thriving maritime trade that Derby had with the West Indies. And these blocks were used as ballast in the ships. So when they came up the, the river and they didn't need the ballast anymore because they were going to be loading whatever onto the ships, the blocks were left behind. And the city took advantage and paved the streets with them. Well, they've been there since the 1800s until 2016, 2017, September 16, 2017, the city removed the cobblestones. And there we have a nice few of them. Uh, they were removed because uh, the neighbors, first of all, complained that the street was too slippery during the winter. And Public Works also felt they had become an obstacle, particularly with the plows during the winter that wasn't even surfaced and they were breaking the plows. So they removed them. It was quite a debate at the time. And Mayor DeGato promised that they would take the blocks, store them away, and use them for some future project that would commemorate the history, that part of the history of Derby. So that's 2017. That's uh, part of the background. Now let me get to the tub wheel itself. The tub wheel was also down here, right across the street. And the tub wheels provided power for the Phelps Dodge Copper plant on Main Street, which is one of the very last buildings torn down. Uh, they were a major employer in the city of Derby. Actually, there were two different buildings. It was the first building burnt down, and they replaced it. Had up to 250 people working there. And then eventually it, it was torn down. But when I went to tear it down, and this tie, may tie into your uh, story about the culverts. Uh, when they went to tear it down, the Derby Historical Society said, wait a minute, we think there might be these old water wheels in the building. They had maps showing where they were. And sure enough, we went down there one day, and you've got the pictures of it. Uh, the water wheels were still there exactly where they were on the map and they were sitting there and if you recall that was a not a good time for the city of derby they were going through all all the uh battles with the developers and whatnot but eventually the city got control of the water wheels now the water that provided that provided the power for those wheels did not come from the Housatonic river okay it came from the Naugatuck river because it was a reservoir on top of Caroline Street and they pumped the water up and then it came down the hill and through a system of aqueducts. And you have a picture of the aqueduct. You have uh, the former mayor standing there, Mark Anthony, as you'll see there. That's where the water came through. And that was a tunnel. The aqueduct came under the, under the streets and provided the power for the tub wheels. Now they're called tub wheels rather than water wheels because when you think of water wheels, so like this, these were tub wheels and they went like this. Did exactly the same thing, just a different format. So luckily the developer allowed the city to have the wheels. And we took the wheels and we put them over on the corner, created a little plaza. And again, you have the picture of it there. Uh, Frank Pepe moved the wheels, cleaned them up and put them over there. And everyone knew it was only gonna be a temporary thing. There's a, there was a kiosk explaining the history behind the water wheels and the industry of downtown. 
Well, eventually this project on Main Street started, those wheels were an obstacle, but they wanted to be preserved. The uh, Fuchi, the company uh, took the water wheels and no, honestly, I don't think they did a great job of storage. They just dumped them on their side and the kiosk is still lying on its side down there and it's in bad shape, but they pledged to replace it. Uh, last year, when we were um, putting up the plaques, you know, the historic plaques for the city of Derby, I happened to be down here one day and at that point they had moved the water wheels. They were just lying on their side. It was an awful sight. Uh, and I stopped into City Hall and I said to uh, Walt Mayo at the time, I said, hey, Walt, what's happening with the water wheels? They're supposed to put those back into a park. He didn't know anything about it. And I think that was the problem. No one knew about it. I forgot. But to his credit, on that one at least, he called Fuji and the contractor came up immediately. I walked across the street with him. And the uh, Fuji said, well, what do you want? What do you want to do? Well, I said, you were supposed to put it back and create a little park. And they were very accommodating. Okay. Right away, they said, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do it immediately. So last October, they took the water wheels back set them up, and the idea was that we were gonna create this little park. Now the park was gonna be more than the water wheels, okay? The park was also, and again, this is my concept, okay? No one in the city approved this, but uh, I said, you remember those cobblestones? They're still here. Why don't we take those cobblestones and incorporate them with the water wheels that will give us two different stories. We'll be telling the story of the industry in downtown. The cobblestones will be used to tell the, the story of uh, the maritime industry here, which no one knows about. And also, we had just removed the trolley tracks from the bridge. I said, we can create a, a path from the water wheels to the street and use the cobblestones to pave it, much as you have up by the Veterans Memorial. You have a cobblestone pathway there. And I, I came in uh, in March and Linda had just taken over. And of course she didn't know anything about it. And we started talking about it again. We met with Mike Pichinari and Mike expressed some, some interest. Everybody thinks it's a good idea, but there are challenges with it. Um, and the question was, does the Board of Alderman have to approve this? And I guess they do, because they, they're the ones who control the, the cobblestones. So I'm here to suggest that we get this done in time for this year in the beginning of the Derby 350th. You know, again, we're going to be able to tell the story of the industry that was here, uh, the transportation, and also the retail that went on here. It would be a shame to lose this. You know, it's it's already there. It's on the pad. It's just a question: Can we incorporate? the cobblestones. You know, I've talked to several people who work as masons, and they said, yeah, you can do it, okay? I know some people who express an interest, but also a concern that maybe they wouldn't be safe. You know, my understanding is it can be made safe. So I'm just here to urge you to do it. Uh, Linda had asked me if I could draw up a picture of it. I'm not an artist in any way, shape, or form, and I don't claim to be. So what I did was in the last picture you've got there, uh, that is an actual picture of the water wheel and you know this new AI, which I haven't quite figured out. I said, can you give me a cobblestone walkway uh, with the side of the walkway being the railroad tracks that we took off? So you can see what we're talking about. Very crudely done, not well done. But you know, I'm here to urge the, the Board of Alden, let's get this done. We've got the water wheels, they're there. They've done a nice job. There's a nice little park there, a little overgrown at the moment, but let's get the cobblestones put in, use the railroad tracks. They're gonna put the kiosk back, right? They've guaranteed that, okay? Um, you know, we had signage in, giving that history before, we'll do it again. So that's my pitch. I would hate to see this opportunity lost particularly when it was promised that the cobblestones would be used. I can't think of a better use for it right now. Uh, let's get it done. That's all I have to say, if any questions.